Kumu nangali ngome mari Nupandi awa na papa isha pia Zubela kwa mina hii Baba hini Adana pia ishi nati bekirozi Nisi wamba hitu za mba kacha ayo Nisi kutiti wana siku umutema na indike zubela Kolia azoli ya biete Mikolo upinza kolia izate Azoli ya te Kamuwa maki there's a very cynical discourse when you hear people saying it's the end of AIDS, everything is under control, everything is not under control. The more people on treatment than before, there's 9 million people on treatment, but there's many more, the 17 million who should be on treatment today who are not. It's a hidden emergency. The battle is raging. We, we have managed to put a lot of people on treatment. We've booked some successes in terms of prevention, but we're not there at all. The, at the moment, HIV is still winning. You see it moving into the community. You see people getting infected. You see young children who are infected. You see young people who die. <laughs> Ozaki na ebien nandenge azala ki bien akoli pe bien akukisi deza ali abandi maladi akufai na mars azala ki na katra edemi. What you see is the number of graves that is increasing. In places with very remote access, you see people coming in very late, and then you see them dying. Bicho la kai ke mama ti re rimu fata sena na ke ke chole mosabu twenty ke kapagi twenty one bana ba ka ba 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 ga ko hona ji kutla belu abu ne ha na kwenye ba mosare ti. Over here in the mountains, the health centers are so scattered that it means women have to walk many, many hours. Sometimes they have to sleep overnight before they can reach a nurse when they are lucky, a doctor. It means that uh, several women will have a poor adherence to their treatment. Some are not coming. And we can see in the clinics that they were out of pills for a long time. Kukana kiebono hule hule kapo hasi kandi kiebono hule hule mpasela he kaha mutobo tamid kipinye dite feranda kaha kana jina ni dika kula wudi kile. When a pregnant woman doesn't take her treatment correctly, it increases the risk for her to transmit the virus to her child. To herself, it means that her treatment will not work properly. And so even if she continues taking the pills, she will get sick. When an HIV patient doesn't take treatment, or they're resistant to treatment, they die. Okay. So, this is yours. Over here, women are dying um, much more than anywhere else in the world during their pregnancy or just afterwards. HIV is the main cause of death of young women, of women in sexual reproductive age. That is the case for Lesotho, that is the case in the world at the moment. These deaths are completely avoidable. They don't happen where women are tested and started on treatment in time. We came across um, a family in need with a girl who is HIV positive. Her mother died uh, not so long ago. She's sick. Uh, we need to see if she needs uh, antiretroviral treatment. HIV positive. Pregnant women and mothers have a high risk, around 30%, of infecting their children. That is totally preventable. If, the, if that woman is on antiretroviral therapy, she will not, or almost not, infect her child. 
an HF infected child means either he's going to die before the age of one if he's not diagnosed in time, or we diagnose him in time, and then he will have to take antiretroviral therapy for the rest of his life. The time we have specific programs working with children, trying to help parents, because parents are afraid to tell their children they're HIV positive. A child that learns that he's HIV positive by himself almost always gets very angry with the people that lied to him during all these years and very often they stop treatment or they start taking treatment erratically, which then leads to failure of treatment, to drug resistance or to illness and deaths amongst uh, young adolescents. <laughs> That girl is asking for drugs that are easy to take. At the moment, we don't have them. We know we're near. There's a need for investment and research, but the pharmaceutical industry has shown little interest because this is for poor countries and children in poor countries are a completely neglected population. For adults, we are there. We have one tablet once a day where you have three drugs in one tablet. It's called fixed dose combination. Combo Nangai, Mama Claudine Motosia, Nazali Vev, Yabana Sis, Mazunga and Maladiana, and the Bandico Zobakis, Nazo Zobakis of Philly. May come again a Mama Moko, Nakomiko Futa Sang Dola. A lot down a cutty treatment. Na sala kirechit, bon pona lelo na zwa kalisusu kisite, na koma kusenga na baninga, oyo baza na mwaya ba somba kwa tuwa buati de buati, pole mama na zana katre komprimi, nzo sala na dua jour, na kuku ya kirechit, na uzwa su na uzama bi na ubela, na kontinua kwa kusenga, pole nzo na mbongo te, koko koko, ngai Claudine. Ah, moi, mon cœur caca. Là, il y a un pont à yo pour bonne santé. Vous avez mal à moi. Bien. Dès qu'on a un qui a un côté là, il est sous qui c'est si. Qui c'est si, il est sous ses moines. 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 C'est une sorte de sélection naturelle. Pour les personnes qui sont démunies et qui se voient annoncer les diagnostics VIH, c'est vraiment comme une sentence de mort. La moitié des patients vont tout simplement laisser tomber les bras et attendre la mort. Ce que nous voyons chaque jour dans les centres est les visages humains des personnes qui arrivent tardivement, qui n'ont pas accès au traitement. Les patients sont vraiment en mauvais état général avec beaucoup d'infections. Il y a un patient sur quatre qu'on ne pourra pas sauver. C'est vraiment difficile pour l'équipe. C'est fini bébé, c'est fini, c'est fini. Beaucoup de personnes continuent à mourir dans nos communautés sans avoir accès au traitement antirétroviral. La maladie au Congo avance plus vite que la réponse organisée. With untreated HIV, you can treat the infections, but you know that's only gonna have some mild effect and then people are gonna come back. That is what we saw in the 80s in the US and in Europe and in the 90s in South Africa and in Lesotho. In DRC, you still see it today. We know that we have to put many more people on treatment because people on antiretroviral therapy transmit much less, actually have a 96% 
decrease in chance of transmitting HIV. The first hurdle is to test more people. And until now, we waited for people to say, oh, I want to test for HIV today. If you want to test everybody who has HIV, this doesn't work. You need to go towards people, you need to move out of clinics. We are in one of the areas where our community health agents walk long distances to cover the households that are scattered all over the place. It is very much important to have the door-to-door -door counseling and testing because it increases the access and it allows the people to test in the comfort of their own homes. People are really struggling to reach out to the clinics because the clinics are far from their areas. There is a lot of people who are positive, get tested and now they are not dying. They were happy for the program. Testing for HIV is one way of saving lives because once a person knows that uh, he or she is HIV positive, that is the time when the person takes steps forward to take care of uh, his or her health. We can utilize treatment as prevention. As many people get into treatment, it will reduce the spread of uh, HIV. We are now faced with the difficulty of the health system to adapt. You have stockouts all over the region. People are interrupting treatment. In Southern Africa, health system suddenly had to take on many, many more patients. They don't have enough staff. Clinics are being totally overburdened. So what do we do to adapt the health system to these challenges? Is to move people out of clinics, allow them to have their treatment in groups in the communities. This is my house. I'm living here with my husband. He is HIV positive. Our clinic is very far from us. The objective of this group is to reduce the stigma in the community and the constraints that they had before. They are here to meet and to select one person who will be going to the clinic for the collection of the drugs. If there was no group, they used to wait long queues. It helping us, saving time, saving money. Is there anyone who's getting ill? We do talk about that. Maybe the cause is that that person has defaulting pills. We do tell them, the more we default the, the pills, you might be dying. The HIV AIDS epidemic is far from over, it's not over at all. On a global level, it is completely unacceptable to see decreasing donor funds to see less money for a disease that is still infecting 34 million people in the world, that is still causing 2 million deaths every year. Il est vraiment arrivé à un stade très avancé. Et là, à côté de ses infections, il a des problèmes aussi avec son foie. Il reprend de l'appétit, il reprend petit à petit des forces. Et il espère qu'il va pouvoir retrouver sa famille pour s'occuper des, des siens. Sans ces structures, ces patients seraient morts. We have had some victories against HIV. We have not won the battle at all. It's no time to stop, it's time to increase investment, put more people on treatment now so that transmission goes down, and then there is a hope that in a few decades we'll get rid of HIV. It's possible to win that fight. It's 
téléphone et besoin de me casser. C'est pour ça qu'ils étaient dans le rue Belé. Ahanda, tu as un avis de cité. On te voit quand on est en train de faire un travail. Changed my life very much. I'm feeling better now. That's all, Peter. Move on, son. That's all I want.